Ash guys the evening to all this evening I will do a video of Holy Innocence Church and School area once again which is in the parish of St. Thomas this is the Holy Innocence Primary School once again with my aunts and cousins and great aunts receive their primary education and this is Ashford Long Road that I'm looking down now and again this Ashford is spelled A-Y-S-H-F-O-R-D and this is the road leading to Harrison Cave and uh, Richmond Hall Valley and again Harrison Cave runs all under here that is why they said that when service is going on at the church that the organ from the church vibrates into the cave yeah. Yeah. so again I'm in the center of the island in the parish of St. Thomas and St. Thomas and St. George are the two landlocked parishes here in Barbados best referred to as the heart of Barbados or the central uplands of Barbados this is the school building here with the mural graphic which was done by Miss June Connell in 2005 mostly depicting things in St. Thomas the guy here with the buck holding is Mr. Lester Vaughan who was the former principal of Holy Innocence Primary School back in the 1950s and 60s my aunts, my first two aunts were tutored under him this is the windmill here at Sturgis Plantation you can see the top band through the villages in St. Thomas. So St. Thomas is best referred to as the heart of Barbados or the central uplands of Barbados. And I don't have no sea, no coastline in these parishes. These are the two landlocked parishes here in Barbados best referred to as the heart of Barbados or the central uplands of Barbados yeah 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 the rest of guys whole innocence church was built in 1838 on lands given by the owners of Ashford plantation and it was built in the shape of a cross and it was one of the bishop quality shoppers of ease the Holy Innocent Primary School here again with the mural graphic on it. So this was the boys, the girls' school, sorry, back in the early days. And the boys' school was further up here. So this church has two cemeteries now, one within the churchyard and one on the opposite side of the road. Unfortunately, the one in the churchyard is filled now, so they have to bury the people on the opposite side of the road. Over here. Yeah. yeah. So this is the church cemetery here. So I have lots of family buried in this church yard yeah, here. This is my cousins, my great aunts, great grandparents, and other relatives. So this is the beautiful serene parish of St. Thomas which is in the heart of Barbados and again St. Thomas is in the countryside so yes guys Harrison's cave runs out under here as I said before that is why they said that when service is going on in the church that the organ from the church vibrates into the cave all under Ratch Mahal and this whole area Harrison's cave runs all under this whole area Harrison's cave runs all under here. Harrison's cave is just up the road here in St. Thomas. 
Harrington's came with a natural heritage site. The eighth wonder of the world, Harrington's came was founded in 1970 by Danish paleologist Ole Sorensen and Barbadian Tony Mason and together they dug their way through the cave, swimming through several narrow holes and tunnels along with Noel Ponte Boys, who was one of the first staff in the cave, who also was from this area, and Prince Charrington and others who are from this area, were the first staff in the cave. The cave was opened officially on the 28th of November 1981 by the Prime Minister of the day, Tom Adams, who was also the Minister of Finance at the time as well. That's very awful, the innocence. Church <coughs> and school area here in the parish of St. Thomas. You can see that they are cutting the, the morning lawn for our funeral tomorrow evening. I will take a walk to the churchyard now. For the innocent church here. And this is the church cemetery here, the garden tomb, the tomb of George W.T. George Gooding and Mildred Gooding and Jeffrey Gooding, who is probably their son or something. And this is the church, all the church here. Oh, here is tombs as well. This is the multi-purpose center for the Church of the Holy Innocents. This is the bell tower here. This is the little space for the bell. You can see the primary school building here again. And this is the bell tower here, where the bell is now located. My great uncle, Gorman Levine, was the bell ringer here. I still have a great aunt that sings in the choir here at Holy Innocence. The only great aunt I have living. I also had another great uncle named Percy Ellis. That used to that used to be the layer preacher here. One time as well. And this is the old vicarage where the priest used to live. When Reverend Light was the priest here, he was the last priest that lived in this vicarage. So I have lots of family that are buried here, lots of ancestors that are laid to rest here at Holy Innocence. This was the grave of this is the grave of Hudson Drake's. The headstone has been removed. Hudson Drake was the organist of this church. And headmaster at Hillaby Turner's Hall Primary School as well. And this is the grave of Lester St. Clair Vaughan, who was the principal of Holy Innocence Primary School. He was, he was the one I showed you on the mural just now, with the school building. He was the principal here at Holy Innocence Primary School. He laid the rest here. This is his grave here. Looking back on Ashford. And Holy Innocence from Holy Innocence Anglican Episcopal Church. And the school building down below. Oh, 
I'm already in the church. I'm going to come to church. Thank you guys for watching now and have a blessed day.